Welcome back to the Mount Mount Medical YouTube channel. Thanks for hanging out. Today we're going to talk about how to flat fold the new generation soft tee wide. How to go from this travesty of uh, a uh, tourniquet, just a mess, to a nice clean little package like this. This is the flat fold of the new generation soft tee wide. So we're going to talk a little bit about how to go from this to this. Now something that I'm really kind of cranky about when it comes to the soft tee wide is that you get it in the package looking like this. It's not flat folded, it's not ready to go. So if you're going to purchase one of these, I really recommend that you do this flat fold method. It helps to kind of keep everything nice and neat and organized in your pocket or in your trauma kit because when you want to go and get this out, you want to make sure it's not getting all hung up on everything. And I wish that the company would send these tourniquets out already flat folded. They have a video on their YouTube channel that shows how to flat fold these and we're going to talk about that next, but I wish that they would already come like this because it's kind of a pain. If you buy one of these, you're going to have to flat fold it yourself. They don't come like that and I think that's kind of a kind of a kind of annoying. I wish that they would. All right, so when you get your new soft tee wide, it's going to come in one of these uh, bags. So as soon as you get it, you want to take your new tourniquet out of this bag because you don't need this anymore. A lot of times people will leave these wrapped around their tourniquets, hoping to keep them nice and safe. But then it's an extra step to remove it from the packaging with bloody hands, so it might be kind of difficult, and throw this away just to get to your tourniquet. We don't want those extra steps. We want to get to this as quickly as we can. So as soon as you get this in the mail, just take it out of the package and throw this away. It does come with a card in a couple of different languages on how to use this new soft tee. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, give this a read and then pitch it because you don't need it anymore. And then come back and watch my video about how to do this right. So as soon as you get it, throw that out and it's gonna come like this. Wrapped around it are gonna be some nice tactical black rubber bands. Very nice of them to include the tactical black. So we're just going to remove these rubber bands so that uh, we can get to the tourniquet. We'll just throw those over there where we can get to them again. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to let this kind of hang. And what we're going to want to do is make sure that this tail and this loop are exactly the same size. We're going to let this buckle hang down nice and flat against itself. And now we're going to adjust the tail end and the loop to be exactly the same size. So you're just gonna pull this out until you get them pretty well matched up. It doesn't have to be exact, but as close as you can will help. And you can see here, the tail is just as long as the loop, and that's what we want, okay? So now we're gonna let this buckle hang flat against it, and then we're gonna come up, take the, both the strap, and the loop and we're just going to fold it in to the very bottom of the tourniquet then we're going to put one more fold so that it tucks in right underneath of the buckle just like that hopefully you can see that just right underneath of the buckle then you can take this windlass Make sure that you pull out a little bit of the slack so that you've got some, some slack to work with. And then you're just going to fold this over on itself so that it lays nice and flat to the side. Just like that. And you see how it's on the side? That's pretty important. You can have it positioned in the middle, but this will help to reduce um, the size of this tourniquet. And there you go. That's completely flat folded, but now, of course, we still need those rubber bands because we need to be able to hold this all together. One of the benefits of the cat tourniquet is that it has all of that hook and loop that sticks to itself and kind of keeps everything organized, but the Soft TY doesn't have any hook and loop, and that's kind of a good thing because you can use this tourniquet over and over and over again, and you don't have to worry about that hook and loop degrading to the point where it won't hold anymore. And that's kind of one of the downsides of the cat tourniquet. You can't really use it to practice too often, whereas the Soft TY, you could get a couple of extra practices in and it shouldn't be too big of an issue. But Generally, these are considered one-use items. If you want a tourniquet to train with, I usually recommend that you just buy an extra one and use that one to train with. Now, just go back, get your tactical black rubber bands. 
then you're just gonna wrap that around a couple times to keep everything nice and neat and organized. And then uh, just like you would do with any piece of gear or a knot or anything that you're doing with straps, you're just going to clean it up, make sure everything is tucked in nice and organized and you're satisfied that it's not going to come loose on you. And there you go. The flat folded soft tee wide. This is the generation five, the latest on the market. This is a great tourniquet. It's going to do well for you. If you would like to pick yourself up a soft tee wide, head over to the mountmanmedical.com website where we sell these and cat tourniquets and SWAT tees. So if this is something that you're interested in, head over there, check those out. Also, while you're there, check out our Yellowstone and Wind River trauma kits and be ready for whatever the mountain throws at you. Thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you guys in the next one.